Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Bounce run and today I'm gonna try to do a super duper defensive fatigue build. If we're lucky enough, let's get the spikes, maybe we're gonna get the shield right away, we didn't find the shield right away. Did found a piggy bank here, but I mean, that's irrelevant. Let's go to the first fight and let's hope this might also poison them by the way. Let's hope it's gonna be a double sword build or something with swords. And it's actually, I guess, a double room build, they are gonna out poison us. Maybe the spike's gonna save us, but I think they're gonna out-poison and out-DPS on us because they are triggering more weapons. Yep, it's over. Nyx got the first win on us. Let's go. And found more room. And we found starting leather armor. I want that. I want to do a defensive build. And also, let's get the regen. Why not? And uh, let's go. Let's actually start the run. I want to do a super duper defensive fatigue build. I want to be as deep into fatigue as possible. If I can start with 300 health in the beginning, that would be really nice to get this going. Now, they don't have a double banana here, which that alone is a free win for them. So, Rafid also beat us. I will start reading names from here on out. So, uh, you know, names have meaning. Let's go here. And let's also get another regen. And then our attack speed, which I can give to the dagger and the poison. And let's go on again. Let's see. This time I should have a lot more health than the opponents have from this alone. Boom, up to 45 right away. So I have double the health. Then Grimewiz has. And let's see who is going to win. I also have two regen. Although the regen is going to come in later. Uh, I definitely want the shield potion so that the regen comes in right away. Why do I lose chunks? We're dying. <laughs> We're dying. Ah, it was almost a draw, but I actually lost. It's so again from here on out. We should be winning, hopefully. And I found a wooden buckler. Plus another spike. Let's get the attack speed. Let's get this. And uh, I would like the spikes, but I want mostly the shields. Give me the spike. Uh, you flip like that. You go here. You go here. I think we are good to go. And uh, let's hope for the best. I could. Get, you know what? This sells for one. Buys for one. Might as well buy it right now. Uh, yeah. There is no downside to this. If anything, this helps. And let's actually have this trigger poison so that it might help us even more. And uh, this uh, should be a win, theoretically, because they just have a dagger and one stone, right? And we have the huge shielding and, and poison and also this thing, blueberries applying poison. Yeah, we, we're beating them in any way, in any shape. We also have the region that they don't. Sengoku, you're gone. I want to do super duper defense build. I need to get more shields. I need to get more defense in general. Combo those. Very nice. Let's get another spike. And the piggy bank, let's roll them. Found room, and we also found definitely a stone skin potion. Uh, the piggy bank is gonna join instead of one regen. This is gonna join next fight. This is also gonna join. Let's go. I don't have room anyway. Man, I don't want to keep the regen in my hand. Uh, this is a hammer build, plus a dagger and a stone. And we have three spikes. And also, we're gonna generate more spikes. So we should be winning from spikes alone. None me. They are taking some buffs away, right? I had three and I got a last one. Yeah, because they have the 20% chance to remove a debuff. A buff from the opponent. But still, easy enough. Let's go. Let's see if I can get like some kind of unique weapon. Nope. Let's go here and here. This potion is really important. The stone skin potion. Let's roll them. And I found more room. The good kind. I think we're good to go. And this here takes 15 of our health away and gives us 3D shielding as a trade-off. And until that 3D shielding goes away, I will have had healed back from my region. Uh, I still don't have any way of damaging the opponents. Oh, come on, man. They have Tim. We lose. Tim steals buffs away. <laughs> so they're going to steal my region away. Yeah, Tim is busted and I would like to do a run with Tim. But it is what it is. We're going to now hope that we somehow beat a double region for Spike's build. I'm not attacking. I mean, I am attacking with a dagger once in a while. They have poison that we don't. And we also have spec shield and defense that they don't. But Tiga is giving us the win. Let's go. They even have Tim and we still won. And for the weapon of choice, because I was thinking what the weapon of choice should be, I would say I want to go with Lanky Dragon. Because Lanky Dragon... Yeah, I mean, that's it. And Lanky Dragon is found by having a deck. So I will have to get the deck. Get the spikes, roll them. Uh, I do want, I guess, the attack speed. Also go leather armor. I do see the thorn whip as a weapon of choice. This thing just does damage based on how many spikes you have. This might kill us. Sometimes you don't want to attack and I really don't want to attack right now. So let's just get the more room and go. The deck doesn't do anything. Let's go. Then the spikes build. You see? If I didn't have the dagger, we would have had higher chance of winning, not less. Now with the dagger, it's going less. Every time the dagger attacks, we are giving them four shielding. 
and damaging ourselves for 4 damage. And I even gave them 8 spikes. You see, the dagger is bad. <laughs> I mean, we are winning from poison. But we're giving them shield every time we attack. So, that's not good. We won from fatigue alongside poison. Very nice, very nice. And the choice of... I would say Chris Dagger, just applying random... No, 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 Mr. Swuggles. Inflict Fatigue every three seconds, and then after Fatigue starts, Fatigue goes faster. Okay, I would say we go here. I really want this. I want the Red Dragon. I don't want any of these. I guess I could get the Super Stone Potion. Here is the Red Dragon. And another potion, by the way. I mean, this potion definitely should join over the Dragon. So let's do that. Buy and also this. Uh, is this useless? For one coin and I can buy the dragon. Yeah, let's, let's sell this. I could do the same with the stone, but the stone's gonna be used. And you join. Uh, let's connect these. Okay, so this thing does 10 damage plus 4. So that's just 10 damage. And it gives us 3 haste. So the haste is that my abilities trigger faster. Uh, I would like this to be like this nice so we're not gonna have one regen so mr struggles that increase attack speed is gonna increase the attack speed of the fly garrick i don't want to increase the attack speed of the dagger these are gonna fire each other i just realized i should have gone with a backpack for yeah i made a mistake there but it's okay i should have gone with a, a potion backpack i will do that too later so let's see how this is gonna go the dragon is gonna trigger and we played the fatigue game in general so we want the opponent to, as slowly as possible, get whatever they are going to get. Now this guy is having the cursed dagger, so we're going to get debuffed more than them. But we are applying more fatigues on them. So now when the fatigue fight is going to start, you're going to see they're going to have more than us. Yeah, I have one, they have eight. I have two, they have eight. So I want to start getting the cursed crystals now, because that's how we're going to be doing damage. Two cursed crystals. Yes, 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 yes on this. By that, I would say we throw the dagger out and even buy another Algaric. I don't want to be attacking ever again. Excuse me. Sell this. Let's get a double Agaric. And I would like the other Agaric to go one back. Or this to go one in. Yeah, I like this. I think that's the best. And the rest just joins. And let's roll them. No. Uh, I don't need this anymore. I don't need the deck anymore. I don't want to be finding cards. Let's sell the deck. Uh, we did find uh, my first Corrupted Crystal, which, once again, every 5 seconds inflicts fatigue damage. And I would say this is better suited for this boss. Nice. So this is gonna fire at some point. Another spikes here for another shield. I mean, I don't need more of these. I would like to get the garlic, though. Because I don't want the opponent to be healing. Is the simplest and fastest reason. I want to be able to remove enemy spikes. Uh, enemy vampirism. And let's go. We still haven't gotten good stuff. We are still a bit weak here. They have also Mr. Struggles, which is pretty bad for us. I haven't found the good leather armors, the, the healing ones, and I also haven't found the huge shields, the good shields. And we are slowly regening up. We still have poison though, but the opponents are taking poison away from our shielding. And at this point, we have the same life with the opponent, same amounts of poison. Fatigue is higher on them. Nice. We won. We won. Okay. Here I would say roll them. Another shield potion. We obviously want that. Roll them. Okay, we found the the buffs. The <laughs> what are these called? The potion belt. Now I would say let's transfer the potions over to the other side. I would like a ruby egg, by the way. I'm I'm searching for a ruby egg. We found room, and let's throw these in. And I would say let's go. I'm still searching for the ruby egg. To get the Mega Egg. Let's go. Uh, oh, another Tim. So he's gonna take our buffs away. Look how much health I'm missing, by the way. But we have a lot of shielding. Uh, something is piercing our life. They have a Spectral Dagger that's piercing our life. Do I not have regen? They took my region away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Spectral Dagger is 12 life. They're gonna pierce us. We died. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we don't have healing. I mean, I don't have healing by, by button press. I found our shield, very nice. And I found the good shield, which is more important than the other shield. I'm gonna go big shield here. This here says 35% chance to get 8 shielding when we get attacked. I also want this shield, so we get more spiky boys. And it also makes things around give us more shielding. 
So that means I should get these two lines and put them on the right side. So let's do that real quick. Here you go, and here you go. Boom, and boom. And now these shield uh, potions are going to give us more shielding. And they're going to also fire a bunch of times because of the potion belt. There was a chance to trigger each other. Now that killed us the previous round, but they had Tim. And uh, they took our region away because we are supposed to have region. This is a spikes build. This we should beat. This we should definitely beat. They have vampirism, and they might scale damage and whatnot, but we have so much shielding and shield gain that them attacking us should actually help us. I do have more poison than what they have, but look at this. My, my shielding is at 100, and can they bring it below 100? Oh, it is happening, but they are dying already. <laughs> Too late. Fatigue game, man. Fatigue game. Here we go. And I go, at long last found a holy armor, so this is 55 shielding and also remove poison slowly. And another shield. Uh, I would say you go away. I, you join, but I don't have money. Roll them. This is room, though, and this is also room. And I would say we sell this for the top one. So you go away. You join. Now we have more power. And now this goes here. So this is going to trigger very often, giving us... Actually, now we want this to be here. So not only does it trigger pretty often... But it also uh, provides us, uh, first of all, uh, so this thing says every <clears throat> every three seconds, every three seconds cleanse to poison. And because it's inside the coffin, it's going to be even, it's going to also apply poison to the opponent. And it also gives us shielding at the start of the fight. It also says that it gives us two region for each holy item adjacent, which is this one in this specific instance. And this says things around give more shielding. So we're going to have this, so it gives more shielding. And we're going to also have this, so it gives more shielding. And I would like this spike to touch that. Which isn't really possible. Unless, unless I find room. Well, it's not possible right now. So for this very specific instance, we're going to just switch these around. And that's done. This still touches everything. We're going to get super duper duper shielding. And uh, I think we are ready to go. And then we're going to also get this later. Let's hope we're going to survive this. Because once again, we are a fatigue build. I, I need more of these corrupted crystals. This is a blindness and attack build. This should not be an issue against us. They shouldn't really be doing anything that I, I'm afraid of. Uh, we are getting blind, but it's irrelevant. The more they attack us, the more shield we get. So it's even more irrelevant what they do. And fatigue's hitting it. So now the crystal's gonna start firing more often. And they have 13 fatigue, 16, 17. Like, they're getting more fatigue than what we do. Very nice. Slow and steady, stupid burn. Slow and steady, stupid build. <laughs> because in my opinion, this is a slow and steady, stupid build, but I like it. I like it. I found some region here, but I don't care about it. Let's roll them. Found some room. We buy a room. Let's also buy this for room, which also shielding. I don't need a weapon once again. Let's roll them. And I found the dragon. And I also found all of these. Perfect. 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 Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a really good thing here. I, I'm, we're going to get Holy Armor and Ruby Egg next. Holy armor fits somewhere here. Ruby egg is going to be the weapon of choice. Most likely the garlic's going to leave. Let's go. Let's hope we're going to survive. We're still at death's door. Uh, I mean, they don't scale anything. So theoretically, we should have this. The more they attack us, the more we heal. As long as we have shielding. As long as we have shielding. They're dying, by the way, from the spikes. Without even fatigue. And we won. <laughs> from fatigue and spikes alone. Okay. So I would say, with this money... I only buy one of these things. We're gonna buy the ruby egg so that I can combine it with the holy lizard a bit later and get the weapon of choice, is my opinion. So let's buy this. The other choice is to go with the uh, shield of valor and maybe sell something. Ah, let's get the ruby egg. I want the weapon of choice. So this here right now deflects the first two debuffs we're gonna get hit by. We still want those two. Let's go. I have eight coins. We need room. This is a spikes build, which we should beat because we're a super spikes build. I'm not... Actually, I'm defense build. Spikes, spikes build and defense builds are not going to beat us. Because I'm a fatigue defense build. Like, I, I'm going up to 400 shielding and then starting to fatigue them to death. Because I have Mr. Struggles and Corrupted Crystal. And Corrupted Crystal is going to fire now. So they're going to have more fatigue. Like They have 14, 16, 17, 19. Like, they get more and more fatigue faster than what we do. And they're gone. Bye-bye. And we're gonna go survival mode because we won! It already worked. It already worked. Okay, we found room. That's exactly what I would like to have. So we're gonna go in room here. And I would say we buy this. 
Uh, actually, this is better, right? Because this protect us, protects us. This gives us a starting shield and regen and removes poison. This gives us a lot more shielding. And that's it. Just a lot more shielding. I would say let's go with uh, cleansing. I'm a bit afraid of poison specifically. Uh, this indefinitely needs to be inside the board. Let's... Let's uh, remove the piggy bank. And this definitely stays. And we need like two more rooms here. So we're very good. Let's uh, let's not even sell the piggy bank. Oh, let's sell the piggy bank. Not that it matters. And this is going to level up. Then it's going to combine with this. And then we're going to have like a super lanky dragon. We're going to throw away the stone most likely. Let's roll maybe once. And we found a single rumor. Very nice. And let's roll maybe twice. Actually, let's not roll again. I will need all this money. Let's go into the next fight. Okay, they have a Spectral Dagger, which is very dangerous for us. As long as I have this region to keep us alive, we should be okay. Spectral Dagger pierces your life. Applying poison or debuffs to us is irrelevant. Only the Spectral Dagger death is the one thing I'm afraid of. We're still surviving, still surviving. Fatigue's coming in to save us. One out of eight. Yeah, your damage immune doesn't matter. 12 fatigue, 14 fatigue, 15. Ah, you're taking you away. Bye bye. We've got him. So in case you don't know how the Spectral Dragon works, this here, use one mana to attack health directly and deal plus seven damage. That's it. And they had mana, so we're piercing. Nice. I found my fatigue. This thing continues fatigue, so we don't care about the poison anymore. We want this here, so it fires more often. Um, this is gonna combine with that because that's literally what I wanted to do in the first place. That's why I had bought those. It's also by this, I would say. Right? So, what I'm thinking is this is irrelevant. This is irrelevant, and this is irrelevant. These three are irrelevant. It's definitely joints. So, let's say joints down here. No, no, no. I want the fatigue to be hitting pretty often. Let's go. Let's say. You know what, Mr. Struggles? You can go down. With your fatigue stuff. And yeah, now you can go here. Hmm. I definitely can fit these better. I definitely can fit these better. And this should be touching that. So it should be like this. And this should also join. I have a whole room down here, which I haven't used, by the way. Like, we, we have a whole inventory space missing. <laughs> I'm missing a whole line of inventory right here. Uh, I would say, let's get this. So we get even more crazy mad lad shielding. Let's also buy this, which doesn't even fit. But we're going to most likely throw away spiked shield for that. And... And what? And how do I fit the dragon in? I guess this does not... Ah, yeah, I know I know how to... I, I know how to fit this. You need to push them away. You know what? Give me a reorganized time for just a second. Okay, done. Took me a, a second. The Ruby Chonk is here with the weapon of choice. And we're gonna bring back the poison. And I guess some regen. And I guess we're good. I guess we're good. Do I even need the poison? No, let, let's better go with uh, remove opponent vampirism. Maybe. Let's go. I need room. <laughs> we don't have room. Let's go. Okay, another spikes build. Uh, no dagger build, plus a spectral dagger. Once again, spectral dagger might kill us, but we have 11 regen, so that should keep us alive. Look at this. We have 650 health. 650, 700. We have more shielding than what we started with, man. What are you even doing? Fatigue 13 already on the opponent side. Fatigue 18. 21. Dead. And we still had 600 health to go. And we're gonna get the super chunk right now. Boom. Oop, here he flies. This guy says that on hit gain one speed. And when you have at least 10 speed, it has a chance to stun the opponents. That's what it does. And that's how we're gonna use and abuse that. Okay, so this shield doesn't really fit anymore. And you can go one up. You can go one up. I guess you can go here. Where's the other? Here you go here. I want the chunker to just be on its own. Room. No, I mean, this fits here for sure. You go here, you go here, and another holy armor, which fits down here. Like, do I have room to the right too? No. The holy armor, if I flip, if my, I mean, it could fit here, and then the chunker goes one up, and then Mr. Struggles and whatever else goes also one up. It could actually fit. I mean, not could, it, it will actually fit. This goes away. Yeah, you go up and you go up. Like that. You also go up. 
like this. Perfect. And now the armor threads. Here we go. Uh, this is irrelevant. These are all irrelevant. You can go here. You can go here. I guess you can go here. And uh, stone can go up there. For the meme. So uh, the, all of these holy armor. At the start of the fight. Look, check around how many other holy things exist. And all of them have. This has like four touches. This is two touches. And this is two touches. And all of them are going to give us two region each. For each of those holy items. And then these here give to everything around 35% more. 30% more shield gain. And also they have when I get attacked. 35% chance to give us 8 shielding. So when we get attacked we're going to get a bunch of shield. And also we start with a bunch of shield. And then these all fire at the same time. And they also give us a bunch of shielding. 30 each and by costing us 15 money. And they have twice the chance to potion belt activate. So all in all we're going to become a super duper mega tank. And the opponents are not going to have any chance to touch us even remotely. Unless they have spikes. Uh, no, no, not spikes. Unless they have spectral daggers or whatnot. Uh, this is irrelevant. Let's buy this. I would like this to be down here so this gets attack speed. No, you go like that. Nice. So that thing now activates faster. And let's also go one more spike and one more regen. And I think we're ready to go. Let's go. This is going to fit you in the very little corner. Whoops, sorry for that. It's a spikes build. Spikes builds are very easy for us to beat. The chunker is a ranged weapon, so it never will actually activate any of those. The more flames I have, the faster everything activates, including fatigue, including regen. The, as we see, the poison is getting removed slowly. My shielding is super duper defensive. I'm at full life. 320 is a max life. And now we go into the fatigue war. You have 13 vampirism. Is 13 vampirism going to save you? I don't see it happening. And we got 16 attack speed, by the way. And this 16 attack speed, as I said, it stems from the ruby chunk. And this 16 attack speed is times two so it's actually 32 percent attack speed this activates this one so this is every two seconds every two seconds every two seconds uh, this becomes uh, every 1.5 and this also become every 1.52 so all, everything goes faster and faster and faster all the time for us and we're even applying a bit of poison because of the poison backpack we have one more round to fight this is going to be the last one let's maybe find some room i found another egg but of course it's too late uh, this could fit here but then the room... Actually, yeah, this fits here. This fits here. Yeah, it's gonna flip it. Done. I got all my room. And now this also fits over here. Nice. Yeah, nice. So we got everything on the board. Do I want anything else? I guess maybe instead of a stone, something else could be gained. Uh, I don't think these matter. A, vamp a region against the instead of stone, I guess. I'm gonna continue rolling until I hopefully find uh, one more corrupted crystal. That would be the best case scenario. Can I find the Corrupted Crystal at the end? I didn't. It's okay. We tried our best. We're out of money. This is the final fight. Let's see how this is gonna go. Hopefully it's not gonna be a life-piercing build. Because that's the only thing that can kill us. It's a region. A, life, a healing build. Let's play this at 0.7 speed and see how this goes. So they're gonna be healing a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Which really, really fits for me. Because I want to see people surviving as much as possible. They also have 10 region. So they have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of healing. And not only that, but they also gain mana, which I'm not even removing. Uh, we don't, we're not afraid of poison. We do have a lot of anti-poison. So poison fight is not a thing. Avinox, together we're going to fight the final fight. And region is incoming. And now you have 25 fatigue. I have 11, 12. Bye-bye, stunned. Boom, boom, and you're dead. And you're dead. You literally didn't even survive as much as the... You survived the exact amount as the previous fight. <laughs> uh, 16 heat. Again, a bit sad. We still had 489 life to go and a bunch of regen to get through. But still, that was a nice fight. That was a nice build. A little bit, I guess, toxic, one could say, because of how stupid the whole shielding idea goes. Now, of course, this is easily pierceable. If you have seen my super duper meme build, big sword weapon, you're going to see that. You just need a gem that pierces shielding and then boom, boom, one, two back. You know, you just hit the back line and the opponent's dead. Doesn't matter. The, st the fight started 24 seconds. Okay, pretty pretty fast fight. I was hoping that this would last more than 25, but doesn't matter. That was a fast win. Okay, yeah, I think that's going to be it. We got a win. I just realized the video is 24 minutes long. I guess this was one of my fastest videos. I, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I, I thought this was like 30 minutes because, you know, the whole idea of fatigue and slow fights and whatnot. But I guess because the run is simple, that's why it didn't last that long. It's just, you know, you put like... Three pieces of armor and then two shields and then four potions and that's it. Like, Mr. Struggles gives you the win through fatigue. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.